Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve issues your program is being blocked from being installed or removed. While this could definitely include corrupted registry keys, um, any reason that you might have issues removing any programs from your computer, this tutorial through the programs and features window. Hopefully in this tutorial I will resolve it for you guys. So we're going to be going through a Microsoft um, Fix It tool. So I've already opened up the web page um, before I started recording. I will include this in the description of the video. So basically there's going to be a download button near the middle of the page. And you want to left click on it to start the download. And it was a pretty quick download. You want to left click on it once it's finished downloading. And just be patient. So now we see that we have a program install and uninstall troubleshooter. Left click on the next button on this dialog window, and it'll begin scanning your computer to see if there's any issues related to this that it can find. Again, just be patient with it. So now you're going to request a little bit more information on your part, so whether or not you're trying to install or uninstall a program. I'm going to say we're trying to uninstall a program, just to kind of go along with this scenario here. So now we're going to select the program you want to uninstall. So it should list all the programs that are registered installed applications on your computer. So you just select whichever program you're looking to uninstall at this point. If it's not listed, you would just select not listed up here. And then you just click on next. And then you can left click on yes to try uninstall to try and uninstall that program. So just give it a moment. It will take a little bit of time, so just be patient. But we can see that it was pretty quick. And if it is successfully able to remove the program, it'll say fixed, and there'll be a little check mark next to it. To view detailed information, it'll give you a little more technical information as to exactly what was done. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.